Hello and welcome back to this new video about YubiKey and in this video we'll start to explore the second slot of your key. If you open your Yubico Manager and go to the application and choose the OTP section of the application, you can find that you have two distinct sections for a slot 1 and slot 2, where usually the slot 1 is already configured with a predefined OTP application and you should leave the slot 1 alone, while the second slot is free for you to use in various ways. And we will examine in this next series of video a couple of interesting ways to use the second slot. When you are in the OTP section of your Yubico Manager, you can find the second slot. Long touch is called long touch because to uh, start the operation associated to this second slot, you just need to press your uh, Yubico for more than four seconds. So usually you are used to uh, just touch, a simple touch will trigger the first slot, while if you need to use the second slot, you just need to press slightly and keep it pressed for four seconds and then the second slot is activated. When you first receive the key, the second slot is usually not associated to anything, so it's empty. You just press configure and you can configure the slot as your need. In this example, we will use and we will explain the static password option for your second slot. Static password is probably the less useful second slot you have because it's not extraordinarily secure, but it's really convenient for some scenarios. If you press next, you can just configure a password and you can press generate again to select a very long password that fits inside the memory of the YubiKey. You can also have the option to allow any character, so you can uh, generate the password and you see that you are using uh, every character you have, not only letters. If you want maximum compatibility, you can uh, simply generate a password leaving the allow any character unchecked, so you can uh, generate a password really long, really secure, composed only by letters, uppercase and lowercase. Pressing finish will simply write the static password on your key. And as you can see, now the menu tells you that the long touch the slot two is configured. And if you want to see the configuration, you can just press again, configure, and you can reconfigure. But actually uh, you have configured the second slot with a static password. Now the question is, how does the static password works? It is really, really simple because the only thing you need to do is just take your YubiKey and I start pressing it. As you can see, after four seconds, the second slot is activated and it just types a password. I'm here in Notepad. The only thing that the static password does as a second slot is using a keyboard emulator. So it's simply emulate a keyboard that send a, your password to the software that actually has the focus followed by a carriage return. So it is especially useful for everything that need a simple password and you cannot use the standard functionalities of your YubiKey. Which are the pro and con of using static key as a second slot? Well, uh, the pro is it's really extremely simple to use because you just press the key for four seconds and it will digit with a keyword emulation, a super long and secure password. So it's, it has maximum compatibility and it's really simple to use. But we have also some cons. So it has no pin protection and this is probably the, the major problem you can encounter in using static password as a second slot. Because if you lost the key or if someone stole your key, they can just long press the key and the password get typed in a clear text. So it has no pin protection. The other problem is that you can inadvertently type your password in an unwanted windows. Let's uh, explain a scenario. You have an application that has the focus where you want to type the key. You start long pressing your YubiKey. And in the meanwhile, maybe a chat gain focus because someone is writing you. And if 
Windows get focus in a chat, maybe after you press for four seconds the Ubico, you start typing the password not in the original window, but in the new windows that get focus. And since the Ubico will type carriage return at the end of the password, you can have this password automatically be sent over chat. I must admit, this is a very difficult situation and this is very difficult to happen, but you need to take this into consideration. If I need to be honest, there is only one scenario where I, I've used it and I'm using a static password as a second slot, and it's in a, a virtual machine with Linux to protect my SSH key. So usually I have a Linux virtual machine when I'm working, I, I'm using for developing, and I'm constantly using SSH for accessing other servers, but often to push and pull from a Git repository. So I've created an SSH key inside that machine, and I protected that SSA key with a super strong password with a static password in my YubiKey. And it works perfectly because even if I am in virtual machine, so I cannot natively give to the operating system in the virtual machine access to my USB, it works as a keyboard emulator. So it will simply type the password when the SSH manager asks me for type the password. As a general rule of thumb, you can use static password if it's used as a second factor of authentication. In case of my SSH key, as you know, the SSH key with my private file, it's inside my virtual machine. So for an attacker to gain access to the machine or the repository that are protected with that key, the attacker need two factors, need to grab the file from a virtual machine, and this is difficult, and also, he or she need to have access to my YubiKey. So it's really um, difficult. It's a threat model where I'm sure that I'm pretty much secure even if the key is not protected by a pin. But if you are using the static password from some site or for everything that just need a password, it's a really no-no. So as an example, if you think to use the static key to protect you in a site that has no true factor of authentication, it's a real no, no go. Because if someone stole your key, they can simply go to the site, type the username, just long press the key, no pin and they are in. So you can use the static password only and only for second authentication. And if you hear some noise during this recording it's because I have this new little guest in my house. This is a stray cat, we rescued it, and it's now uh, going into recover, and it has already found a new house, a new foster house, and we are still uh, making it grow now for being adopted. Say hello, <laughs> and see you in the next video.